is up humanoid nation so i was just watching a new hope's video on how she got into her first fight if you don't know who a new hope is she's basically the girl who played boxy a long time ago she, yeah that was a character she was really good at it and now she has her own youtube channel i'll link it below so you can check her out She's fucking beautiful is all I gotta say. Her eyes are intense. Anyways, back to my story. So she was telling her story and a fucking, all the memories came back to me about what happened to me in my first fight. It was quite some shit. I lost though, so I might as well tell you this story anyway. 1996, I was 12. I was either in grade six or seven, one of the two. I just know it was before high school. I was living in BC back in the day. And I was one of those kids, I was not very popular. I was like basically the fucking geek. People would make fun of me. I would have friends here and there, but people would just make fun of me because like I was easy to make fun of because I had such a horrible temper. Being a little Latino kid, well not a little Latino kid, a tall Latino kid because I was taller than everybody else but not the size I am now, just really tall. So anyways, I had the Latino rage where I would just get mad at just the simplest shit. And my mom would always tell me, he's like, stop getting mad because that's the reason people make fun of you. Because they know you get mad and it's easy for them to do it and they'll have fun with it. And of course, me being a stupid, young, naive kid, I did not listen to that. I should have listened to that because she was right. Me raging is what got people to get me a lot of trouble later on, which I'll tell you in another different video. So anyways, these couple of kids always made fun of me here and there, called me a bunch of names. Like, you know how the shit is like when kids call you names and shit. You think basically the end of the world is over. So yeah, I would go on for like a couple months. Like they were the bullies picking on the big tall kid who got angry but never did anything because I never fought back. Because I didn't fight back. I didn't, because I seriously thought, I, in my thinking I was going like, I didn't want to get into trouble. I didn't want to get suspended. Because I was young and dumb. And I was taught not to fight. Not taught how to fight, but I wanted to fight, but I didn't want to because like, you get in trouble is what I say. So anyways, end of the school day, me and my friend were walking home because like he lives in the same quad that I do back in the day. He's in a grade younger, he's a, in the lower grade before me and we've been friends for years. So me and him are walking towards our place like five blocks down. This was back then when kids can actually go home by themselves. Not today, we're like, Everyone's fucking paranoid that you gotta get pick up your kids because of some stupid bullshit. We had freedom back then. <laughs> so anyways, me and my friend are walking away from the school. All of a sudden I hear this asshole, this little shithead, goes like, hey, Andres. Yeah, that's my name. You know my name. I told you that I did that before. Hey, Andres, you little shit. He didn't say little shit. He said you big fat piece of shit. Because I was still kind of a fat kid back then. Yeah, a little. Yeah. He goes like, hey, Andre's your piece of shit. Fuck you. It's like starts saying a bunch of shit. I'm like looking at them. like, I'm ignoring them, still walking away. Then they surround me like these two little fucks with their other friends off in the distance just looking at us because they're laughing, wondering like, oh, let's watch our leader make fun of this kid. Yeah, and they're like surrounding me, like you know how little fucking kids are just basically mean as fuck? <laughs> and I'm still not doing anything. By this point, I'm not doing nothing. So they will run away, and me and my friend are still walking across the, across the street light, and I'm thinking like, if we cross the street light, I can go on with my business because they go the opposite direction, because that's where they go. Again, they surround me and say like, hey, do something, you fucker. And then they walk off again. I look at my buddy, I go like, take my bag, take it to my house, cause something's about to go down. Cause I, ha I was kind of seeing, I was kind of viewing at that point. He goes, okay, he runs all the way home. Poor guy, I feel sorry for him. 
having to arrive at my house and tell like, hey, your son got into a fight. But anyways, so the guys come back and they're like, they're surrounding me, throwing these little rocks at me and I'm just standing there getting madder and madder. Still not doing anything because I'm a little bitch at this point. Finally, the leader spits on me and that's when I see red. All I see is fucking red and I rage and I just grab him and just wallop on the shit out of him, just punch him out like bang, bang, bang. His buddy there is like, what the fuck? Starts coming to me, he's like, starts not trying to, f he's punching me in the back, but I can't feel it because I'm adrenaline rage right now because all I see is red. Because when someone spits on you, that shit goes down bad because like, you don't see anything about fucking red and you just want to kill the motherfucker. So he's doing his thing and then his friends come all around. I think his two other friends come along and try to punch me. They're punching me all over the place. I'm punching him. I'm not feeling it because like, I am mad as fuck. Yeah. And then they spread out like, the guy, I finally like go to the leader. He like fucks off. And I'm like still raging because like, I'm going, oh! Like a little mini Hulk, the little, mati li little mat Latino mini Hulk. So yeah, I don't see him anywhere else. So like I, I'm walking home, like I cross the street, thinking nothing of it. I'm still raging at this point because I'm going like, ah, oh. because like I'm so fucking pissed off. I still don't feel the punches on me because like they punched me so much, but I didn't feel anything because like adrenaline, adrenaline. All of a sudden I hear this thing. All of a sudden I hear someone yell out, hey. Watch out, he has a bat. I turn around, I see the leader guy come at me with a fucking bat. He's like walking towards me, gangster style, with a fucking bat. I don't know where the fuck he got this bat from. Seriously, I have no idea where. So yeah, fuck. It's like I'm running away, it's like trying to dodge him. It's like, I fucking dodge him. I wind up at this dead end, like I've, I've wind up in this place where I'm stuck and I'm turning around trying to find my exit. He finds me. He goes ahead and wallets me like in the neck here, in the hate thing here, cause I went like this, try to stop him from the back. Cause I don't know, I was stupid. I go like, hey, maybe if I stop the back with my hand, it can stop. But no, he went like, boom, boom, boom. All I gotta say is thankfully, I was wearing a very heavy jacket that day. Cause when I was young, a kid, I would wear a heavy jacket all the time in a hot sun, in the hot sun. And I still did in high school, because for some reason I did that and a bunch of other kids did that because it was a cool thing to do, to wear jackets inside schools for some reason. I don't know, it just looked good. I'm just glad I wore that jacket because it impacted the blows to soften it. Because if I didn't wear that shit, I would have been in a hospital traumatized, like broken bones. But really it saved my ass. So yeah, boom, boom, boom. It's like, by this point, I run away like a pussy because I'm crying at this point. And you were thinking like, yes, I was crying at this point. I was young and I just got my ass kicked with a bat. Walking across the street, I go to this neighbor's house where uh, my mom's friends lived, like this little condominium section, not a condominium, this fucking house and in the side there was this side house, the door where people lived, and I'm knocking on the door to let the guys in, to let, so the people will see me and can let me in, because they know me, because they're my mom's friends. No one's home. And I'm thinking like, what the fuck do I do? And I see a big two by four there, and I pick that shit up, and I'm like, I'm gonna get this guy. And I see him coming towards me, and like, I pick up the thing, and like, I start walking towards him, and he like, jets it out of there. And he goes like, I'll get you tomorrow, motherfucker. And he just disappears. And like, I'm st still carrying a two by four. And I'm still not feeling the bad stuff. Cause like, like I said, jacket, adrenaline, being scared out of my mind, crying at the same time, wanting revenge. I'm not feeling that shit at all. So yeah, I dropped the two by four. Actually, I don't drop it. I put it back where I put it. It's like, and I'm all of a sudden, while I'm trying to calm myself down, all of a sudden I feel the pain in my arm. I go like, ah, and I start crying some more because I'm young and stupid. My mom's friends show up finally because like five minutes later they show up and they go like, holy shit, what happened to you? Because they saw me bawling my eyes out. 
I tell him what happened. They let me inside. My mom picks me up later. I explain what happened. I go to the doctors that night. I only got like a mild sprain, which is holy shit, a mild sprain? Since I got hit right here in the arm and in the back of the neck, but uh, the jacket was covering it, so it wasn't that bad. I just put an ice pack on that, sent me to x-rays to see if I had any broken bones, and I didn't have any broken bones. Next day I went to school, sore as fuck. It was like, yeah, sore as fuck. And they called me down to the principal's office because, like, they wanted to know what happened. Well, they knew what happened because there was fucking witnesses all over the place that saw everything go down. So, yeah, I'm walking towards the principal's office like, okay, my s class is in this section right here. I have to go this way, then turn right, go down a long hallway to the principal's office. When I get to this section, that leader of the group is standing outside his classroom being waited until... He's being told to go to the office because, like, he's just standing outside. In my mind, I see him, I turn red, but I don't really turn red because, like, I'm, like, walking towards him thinking I should beat the shit out of him now. But then I'm thinking, like, no, I'm going to get in trouble. So I push out at the same time. And I turn around the corner, go to the office, blah, blah, blah. Ha tell him what happened. And they got witnesses, so they know what exactly what happened. The guy, I don't know, leader of the group who beat me, beat me senseless. I don't know what happened to him. I think he got suspended or got taken to another school, but I never saw him again. And that was pretty much it. That was the first time I ever got him into a fight and pretty much got my ass kicked. And fuck, I think I almost died from a fucking bat attack. So that's my first time I ever got into a fight. That's all I gotta say. I don't know what else to say. I'm glad I wore a fucking jacket. Anyways, take it easy, human donation. Bye.